We started with seven, seven schools, uh, 64 entries of kids, and um, we started with a double elimination this morning and then ended up with a top 16 players. That what you're seeing now is the semifinals and finals. Um, a total of 100 and, sorry, 256 games were played today. It's quite a lot of games. Mm -hmm. So if, tell us about the work that you guys um, put in to reach to this point. Um, we started back in 2013 when we, the Belize Table Tennis Association um, um, started working on promoting um, schools, um, this table tennis in the primary schools. And we started by training about 15 um, table tennis um, coaches in the, in, the, in the primary schools. We used teachers and then um, the, the association donated five tables to five primary schools along with rackets and balls. And in addition to that, you had schools like Belize Elementary here, who has, who has the tables, and um, Hummingbird Elementary, who now has tables, and Old Redeemer, who had tables at the time, so there was about eight or nine primary schools. So mm -hmm. that's where we started. The younger you start, the better, no? I mean, the youngest player we have here is nine years old. And um, the oldest, at the, well, this is primary school, so I think there's nothing more than 12. Mm -hmm. um, but in addition to this primary school, we do a lot of junior tournaments. Um, we do a under 12, under 15, and under 18. Um, so really, that, th those are main the categories that we use when, when it comes to the junior players. But for the primary school, this is quite a very good um, tournament. This is only 64 um, players because we had to limit it mm -hmm. to so much. We have so much time in the day. But on an average right now, we have about 75 to 100 kids playing table tennis. Of course, sir. I know you guys have uh, competitions like these on a regular basis, uh, um, keeping the sport alive. Tell us about that. Well, we, our calendar every year is about 15 tournaments. There's 12 months in a year, so we're having a tournament about every four weeks, every four or five weeks. And it varies. It varies by, by veteran tournaments, it's senior, senior tournaments, junior tournaments, um, strong and weak, meaning one strong player, one weak player. We have the national championships in December every year. We have a team tournament that runs for about three or four months. That is pretty good. We have first, second, and third division. Yeah. That really, really takes a lot of, lot of table tennis playing there because it's by teams. Okay. Now, sir, is there any move to, to take the sport outside of the country uh, to compete internationally or anything of that sort? We, we played in Cote in 2012, and this year we, we're also going to Salvador in, um, in July to qualify for the Central American and Caribbean Games. So really, between last year and this year, it's really where we're we starting to head in, into these areas. With these kids reaching this level now, I think it's pretty good to take them out to the junior tournaments in Central America. Mm -hmm. I think we will sort of stick to the Central American region right now. We have a player going to the um, Commonwealth Games in July, Tyrone Toon, who is our national champion. He will be going to the, to the, um, to the games in, 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 um, in Glasgow.